Dr. Jaffe, um, can you enlighten us about your thoughts on liposomal and IV glutathione supplementation? Yes. Glutathione is a very important molecule. It's made up of three amino acids. It easily oxidizes to become six amino acids, and it is excluded from cells. So whether you give it orally, intravenously, liposomally, first of all, the glutathione is oxidized. The glutathione does not stay in the reduced glutathione helpful form. So even if it got into the cell, then you would have to use up ascorbate and other antioxidants to convert the disulfide form, the uh, dimer form, back into the helpful reduced glutathione form. The way to get glutathione is to make it in your cells. And interestingly, ascorbate, facilitates, enables the production and the recycling and the, and the maintenance of glutathione best of all. So you want enough of nature's ascorbate like per potent Seaguard to make sure that you can support your production of glutathione. Then how do you make glutathione? Well, three amino acids, glutamine, glycine, and a sulfur amino acid called cysteine. The cell has glutathione synthetase. It has glutathione reductase. It has lots of ways of enhancing the production and preserving the function of glutathione. But it's a myth that IV glutathione gets into the cells. And I've seen the studies. They're very interesting studies. They prove that the blood level of glutathione goes up. I'm sure it does, both from liposomal and from IV. But I'm sure that Alton Meister and the giants of biochemistry who studied glutathione and intermediary metabolism and cell function were right in the 1980s and 90s, and still today, that the way to build glutathione is by having a synthetic mechanism in your cell that can take three amino acids, stick them together, and then preserve that with the help of ascorbate and other antioxidants. That's the answer to glutathione. 